cool features of Canvas is the ability to embed Google Docs directly within the assignments. So if I scroll down on an assignment and I go to choose submission type, you've got four types, no submission, online, on paper, or external tool. So I choose external tool and then I click on find. So we've got a variety of different options. I honestly have not played with most of them. The two that I've used and really like are the Google Docs Cloud Assignment and the Nearpod. For this example, I'm going to show you the Google Docs Cloud Assignment. So if you haven't done this before, it will ask you to authorize. So just click Authorize. It's just linking your Canvas and Google Docs account. It takes a moment for it to go in and pull all of your drive in. So you can see it's slowly starting to load. And what's going to happen is my entire Google Drive now becomes available for me to choose an assignment. Make sure that it is a doc, a slide, or a sheet, because some of the documents within our Google Drive are non-Google things. So we might have a PDF or something uploaded those won't work. It might let you link it, but the kids won't actually be able to do anything with it. Once you've chosen the assignment that you want to use, you just click on it, you press submit, and then you press select. So it seems kind of counterintuitive that you have to press select again after you've chosen it. And so sometimes I've had people exit out of it. Don't do that. Just press select. And then you, you'll see that you've got a long address in here. So this, you'll notice, it's got things like google-drive.lti. This is different than if you were to just copy and paste a URL from a Google Doc. What it's doing is it's instead generating a new web address so that instead of you just putting in a Google Doc for all of your students to work on, this is going to automatically create each student their own copy. So you need to make sure you go in that way and then you are going to go through, you'll finish if this is something you wanted to sync to PowerSchool. That's the default. You can unclick that, which I'll do since I don't have PowerSchool. And then you choose who are you going to assign it to. At that point, then you are going to either save if there's more you need to do with it, or save and publish so everyone in the course can, um, everyone in the course can access it. Make sure that you have a title on your assignment or it will push you back up to the top. This is what it will look like more or less for your students. They will have this Google Doc. It will be a bit larger for them than it is for you. So for us, it looks very scrunched up, but they'll have the ability to use all the different file options and all of those things. They are also, the big difference is they're going to have a submit button up here at the top and that's how they'll turn it into you. And this is their own document. So you don't have to be worried about them changing your master or anything. When you put it through the external tool, it automatically generates a copy for every single student.